Welcome to the Harley J Way. Yeah, hey, the Harley J Way. My name is Harley J. I'm your host. Let's jump right in. Hello, welcome back to the Harley J Way. My name is Harley J. I'm your host. And today we're going to talk about the craziest ideas and why they work. So, one little phrase I love it's kind of the slogan of the YouTuber named Kelly Ocasa. And it's the phrase, do what excites. It's his little phrase, his little slogan, has it on all his merch. That's literally what his brand is called, do what excites. And it's all about going crazy and doing what excites. And honestly, that really resonates with me. But I also feel like if you want to make a splash, you have to do something big, do something that grabs people's attention. And no matter what your niche is, whatever you do, you have to make a splash. So... You have to, the okay, let me put it this way, to make a splash. But some people can't afford to make a splash. So, what do you do in that case? Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Make a small splash and clickbait it as a big splash. And if you have that splash... But you just use psychology to trick people into thinking it's a bigger splash. Then you're not. It's not not actually clickbait. It's all fine. You're fine. So if you were, if I was gonna make a movie, I would probably get a big actor for like forty five minutes to make a, to do a one small role with one line in my film, and then just advertise that one cameo as the main character. Put it in every single trailer. Put it on all the plate. Put it on all the posters and just make it look really cool. Sorry for those little big loud noises in the background as I was talking. That was some lightning strikes. And that was kind of crazy, but so I had to stop recording for a second. But going back to what, what I was talking about, you really have to be able to make a splash. If you can't make a splash, you can't grab people's attention. It's all about grabbing people's attention. Everything is about grabbing people's attention. Like... If you're if you're scrolling on if you're if, okay, if you are if you're giving given two movies to watch or two videos to watch let's say two videos to watch one where and the title says I survived Antarctica and it's a man going. To, it's a man freeze in the thumbnails. A man freezing in, in in Antarctica, and the second video is a video, and the title and the th- title says, "I went to an- Antarctica," and the thumbnail is a map that shows in Antarctica, and it has the guy's face on it. What would you click on? Probably I survived Antarctica. Now, that video, as of recording this, let's see. That video, that's a real video that I was talking about, that I survived Antarctica. Let's see how many views it has. So, let's pull up YouTube. And I, I this, this is a video from Mr. Beats, one of the world's biggest creators. So, let's see. Mr. Beast. How many views does this video have? 92 million views. Now, th- this guy, Mr. Beast, he does some of the craziest videos ever I've ever seen. He, his video is like, if you watch his videos, you're going to know that like, you're going to want to click on them. Like, his latest video, 100 blind people see for the first time. Then I, I survived 50 hours in, in, in Antarctica. Hydraulic press versus Lamborghini. 100 kids versus 100 adults. And that's just, of course, the title. But the thumbnails are like, um, are like, are just like, are crazy. A guy, um, in getting in a, in a building, getting, and getting smushed by little, big closing walls. That's hard to explain it. Um, a man reaching out of a prison cell, a man reaching out of a coffin with dark circles under his eyes. Like, this is the kind of stuff that makes people click, and that's what you want. You need people to click, you need people to click, 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 click. Now, going back to the whole thing I said earlier about this 
Kelly Mikasa. And now Kelly Mikasa, his videos just make you click, and his stuff makes you click. And of course, this isn't just for videos, but it's all still really, it's all still really interesting, and it just it makes you click. So his latest video is I traveled one. 1,215 miles to surprise my girlfriend, and it's him in the cold, touching his girlfriend on the shoulder, and her looking back in shock. And then, another one of the videos is called, it's titled, Overcoming Our Biggest Fear, and it's, it's him looking up at a plane, and his friends are behind him, but all his friends are blindfolded. And there's a bit of text that says, blind. Sorry, that says skydiving. So, and there's just a lot of stuff there. And uh, my favorite video is, it's called Do Excites, because his whole thing is Do What Excites. And in this video, the, it's just, the title is just Do What Excites, and the thumbnail is him. Looks like an old photo from a long time ago. His eyes are red, and um, it's just, and his finger is, like, is, like, stuck. Not stuck. His finger is like, I don't know how to explain it. His, his, his finger is like, like, twisted in a way. And looks uh, it's red, it's broken. And it just make, it makes you want to be like, what's going on? Another one is, uh, I survived 100,000, sorry, I survived 10,000 bees on my face. So... Uh, another one is, I had strangers paint me naked, and the thumbnail for that one is him naked, everything blurred out, of course, and then a man in front of him, sketching him, and I'm going to go back to the, um, the, uh, 10,000 bees in my face, uh, it's literally just has his, his face, the thumbnails, his face covered in bees, you have to make people click, that's the thing, you have to go crazy, so with the movie Scream, the first Scream, the first movie Scream, 1996, which is really crazy, with Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore, I'm pretty sure she gets killed off in the first scene, I'm correct. Yeah, if I'm correct, she gets killed off in the first scene. But, <laughs> but basically, um, I, don't, I, I don't take this for exactly because I don't know if I'm correct for this, but... They used her on all... And they used Drew Barrymore on every single one of the posters. Even though she's literally only in one scene. Actually, let's see. Uh, Drew Barrymore character scenes. Yeah, she's only in one scene. She's literally only in the first scene. But she's marketed on every single one of the posters. You have to do that. If you're making a film... Literally, just put, advertise your smallest cameo, but the, well, your biggest cameo, sorry. That's the, sm the smallest role that, just get a, get someone big, like someone famous to do the smallest role. And just, yeah, that's how it works.